Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Let's go ahead and get into this. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius Collective with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, I just heard this is amazing. So for some of you, you're gonna be a part of something that's gonna be absolutely amazing. To be amazed is to be stunned, excited, or in awe of excitement. So let's see what the cards have in store for you, Aquarius. Why is the Aquarius going to be amazed here? What is the amazement about for Aquarius? What is the amazement about for the Aquarius? You're going to get good news, a good news message, and it's going to bring you privilege, opportunity. Maybe you'll live nice or you'll be able to move. Um, your, your okay, your social circle is going to change because now you'll be making money or you'll be a business owner or you're going to um, be married or, yeah, you could find someone who... Um, you can marry into money. Whatever this is, is good news and it's opportunity to celebrate. I think you're going to be amazed. Now, this message could come to you in seven days, seven hours. Um, we can go as far as to say seven weeks. Uh, it, it's a fast message, something that you're expecting, and it's good news. It's the news you want to hear. Why is the Aquarius going to be amazed? Why is the Aquarius going? Okay. Yeah, because you were in concern about some things. You, you weren't sure if it was going to work out. Maybe you were in a place of poverty or thinking the worst or doing a lot of work and not getting enough money. And it looks like now you're going from one dynamic to the next. Maybe from being impoverished uh, to uh, now being privileged, especially if you're feminine energy. And then also Aquarius, some of you... Are, um, you're going to hear about somebody else, their fortune shifting, changing. They even, they could try to come to you and ask you for help or they could try to maybe vent to you or this could be a message coming to, to you about somebody else, like something getting, okay, I heard repossession taken from them. Why is Aquarius going to be amazed? Okay got cards falling onto the floor something is completely over the coffin card now this could be a relationship a way of life a lifestyle maybe you're going from impoverished to privileged here and then also you could hear about maybe someone not doing well it could be a passing I'm I pray that it is not um, also you could hear about something being over yeah. whoa okay um, this wealthy man and this main female is like, you could hear about maybe this a relationship being over between the wealth, wealthy man and the main female. The, the privileged lady and the wealthy man, that's the, they are counterparts. So they are husband and wife. So now you can hear that maybe um, some relationship is in the dumps. If you were dealing with this wealthy man and they had somebody else, a third party, they are leaving this person or they left this person or they left this type of lifestyle behind. Um, what is this about? Okay. Yeah, they left this sex only relationship behind and they realize that you are their true lover. Um, they understand that the relationship with you is significant. Okay, so this person could be coming back to you, Aquarius. You're going to be amazed at so many things happening for you. Why is the Aquarius going to be amazed? Wow, judgment. Yeah, somebody wants a second chance, second try. They want you to forgive them, you know, absolve them of all of their wrongdoings, all of their, um, maybe even their ill wishes, everything that they did. They want you to forgive and do it quickly. The universe is bringing all these people back or these uh, events or these instants back to you so you can call judgment so they can take you to the next level here they want you to just release relinquish here you can't carry this with you into your new existence your new way of being they don't want you to harbor the hurt the pain the shame maybe of not getting what you want they don't want you to carry this with you they need to okay 
yeah, if some wealthy man made you the other woman, they want you to understand that needs to be over. You need to be done with it. Um, maybe some sex only relationship that somebody was engaging in is over here. Somebody is coming back to you and wanting you to decide on them, make the decision of them. What is, why is Aquarius going to be amazed? Why is Aquarius going to be amazed? Wow, the Hierophant. So it's like, um, now you're going to have some law and some order within your life, some routine and some structure. You could also be um, initiated into being a guide, a guide on the earth. This person has a, a tarot card. It looks like a, like a tarot card in their hand. I don't know if you can see it. So some of you could be readers. Maybe you're guiding people um, with a higher fit. You, you bring in some type of law or you usher in the, the law and the order on the earth here. You guide men to spirituality, to having some type of uh, regimen about themselves, to uh, upholding the law here also for some of you. Yeah, you're going to be amazed because the temperance card, some of you could be marrying into money. It says a wealthy partnership, a wealthy marriage. Um, also talks about a healthy marriage. It talks about yin and yang. It talks about maybe your other half. It talks about um, if so spirit is really working with you. Aquarius judgment, the higher fence, temperance. OK, so it's like something was off balance. Somebody wants a second chance because they didn't choose you. They chose a second. They chose a second best here for whatever reason. Now they want to make something right. They want to come back. And then also this is opportunity for it's like the universe is bringing two different people together um maybe salvaging a relationship yeah seven of swords it's like this person was they were already spying on you looking in on you they were already planning or pre-planning maybe how to come back to you even talking about you behind your back whether it was good or bad um there is something going on behind your back here also some of you need to keep your plans to yourself um, somebody was, you know, acting like the lone wolf. Well, right now you are kind of the lone wolf. You are by yourself. You are, maybe you don't have a lot of friends. There has been loss of friendship. Maybe because somebody wasn't, they didn't want the best for you. They didn't, um, they didn't speak highly of you. They didn't like the change that you were instituting in your life. They didn't like that you were changing. They liked you where you were. So it's like now they become an enemy, a secret enemy, and now they're just spying on you, acting like they're not looking at your social media, asking about you. This could be friends. This could be a particular person also. It's like the Aquarius got in alignment maybe with uh, spirituality and their life purpose here. Why is Aquarius going to be amazed? Why is Aquarius going to be okay? The five of cups in the page of wands. Okay, because you go from maybe regret, resentment, remorse. You, you may even come from loss because the five of cups could even be that you lost a job or you lost something or you didn't. You, you're coming out of grief. Okay, into getting good news about a business venture or promotion, a job, good news about a large sum of money coming to you, whatever this is, it's going to allow you to be renewed, um, a renewed sense of self. You had been involved in maybe something that was burdensome. Every day was a burden for you. And now you're going to live life on your own terms. You can explore whatever it is you want to explore because you'll have the time, the money, the effort also you have the the motivation to do so um you could also meet somebody new here with the page of wands um but this is why you're going to be amazed aquarius because you're getting good news great news all right what else should the aquarius know with this amazement here the six of wands you, you're getting help to help in your business matters now, it could be like a business, like you have, you know, um, you do something, an occupation. But this also could be just like business matters of like needing to file paperwork or do this or do that or get things in order in your life. So you're getting help there in that aspect. And you're also being promoted, propelled uh, before people. Um, I don't know. It's like, you know, the Lord is preparing a table before you. Uh, for you before your enemies, you know, like um, everybody's going to see you shining, you know, uh, because you took the high road, 
you rested on your principles and your morals. Um, you didn't get down in the dirt with someone. You decided to not fight. You didn't know what you were fighting for. It just seemed like a petty and a struggle also. This could be engaging and choosing not to engage in, you know, petty conversation, frivolousness, uh, frivolity, um, or uh, like uh, gossip. It's just like you, I don't know, it's almost as if some people feel like you, you put your nose up in the air to, towards them. But it wasn't about that. It was about more so you knew that you had to take this, uh, this stance or take on this demeanor so that you could, um, you know, receive help from the heavens. It looks like if you do have a business, you're going to get help in it. Well, you should know the queen of swords. Okay. Um, yeah, there was a, a love relationship that you cut out. It, it brought you a lot of hurt because you didn't get what you wanted. You could have come out scorned. I think a lot of you chose not to come out scorn. You just kind of looked at the relationship or what it was, looked at the part that you played, and you kind of walked away. You chose to cut this person out. Yeah, it could be a masculine energy, but they're thinking of you, maybe even trying to manifest you, channeling, getting some type of download from the heavens about you. Um, they're still in the shadows here or in the 5D, they haven't really manifest themselves to you. But they're doing heavy thinking about you, maybe even thinking about what to say to you, like how to put together some speech, how to get what they want, how to be persuasive. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, maybe how to get the power back by, by way of saying something to you, like maybe get you back in a position of waiting on them or, you know, uh, of them being on top and you, yeah, and you, them being the giver and you being the taker. Right now, they're they're the taker, they're the beggar, and you're the giver. You know, and they don't like that power dynamic. They liked it when it was the other way around, when it was you waiting on them, and not that they're waiting on you. This also could be somebody trying to show up with, um, you know, with gifts or trying to show their devotion or their love for you by way of monetary things, maybe even giving you money or like acts of kindness, something, them doing something like something physical, a manifestation of something. So this could be gifts. This could be money. Some of you have manifested, a, a, you know, a payout loans or, or money here. Um, let's see. It's like money comes in, but it's going to be going out and it could be going out for a good purpose here. Yep to start something new it could be an entrepreneurial endeavor so it's like the money comes in and then you know what you're doing with it and you're putting it to good use to some you already know what you're motivated to do and that's where the money is going that's where the energy the time the effort is going here you're not really focused on anything else but seeing this thing through it is the start of something new you're on fire about it you're you know you're um you're all over it yeah, it's like you focused on career matters, the chariot card, not really focused on love. You're in control of your emotions and your thoughts. Therefore, you're getting a lot done. Um, this is like promotion in, in your job. If you work a job or this is a business, this is being focused in, in control of business matters. Um, this is overcoming any obstacles. This is mastery. This is magic. Lightning in a bottle is just what I heard. Wow. Um, this is, uh, so the chariot card is not the best card when it, when it comes to love because this is a person who's, there's a lot of self-directed energy, a lot of self-focus or maybe even self-centeredness, but this is the only way you're gonna get this thing accomplished. You cannot divide yourself, your energy, your time, your devotion towards a love partner right now. You have to be focused on one thing, and this is how you're going to see um, achievement, great achievement here. Um, so and it looks like you know that. Yeah, it's, it's better times for you, Aquarius. Some of you could be going on vacation or you need to take a vacation. I just heard if you can't take one physically, take one in your mind. Carve out some time to actually rest, rest your, your mind, rest your heart. Some of you have just left something behind because it just makes sense to do so. 
you kind of rationalized it. Like it makes sense to heal with that kind of like that caduceus in the back. It makes sense to release the hurt from previous relationships. Maybe even move away from a toxic work environment. This could even be moving away in secrecy. Like you're, you're just kind of just like gradually moving away. This isn't a, a loud, I'm leaving and you know, you, you write a whole dissertation about why you're leaving or you know, you type four page um, letters. It's just moving on, just quietly, just getting in the boat and leaving. It just doesn't make sense um, to stay. It's like you have um, rationalized or intellectualized moving on. Like it just makes sense, right? Um, where are we going? Oh, they said, what does this person want to tell you? No, I, I don't want to go there. Um, why? Some of you let go of some friends here or you need to. These people are not happy for you and they have said it and, you know, um, in so many different ways and so many different conversations. Um, and they're spying in on you. All right, let's see. Especially my third deacon Aquarius. So that would be the later February Aquarius. You got some friends that are just not friends. Okay. And you might just need to let that go. All right, let's see. A mature man. So you could be dealing with someone who's older than you. Could be going bald or gray hair. Um has lived life, has a lot of life experience, um, could have been married or, you know, has adult children or something like that. Um, this person, I don't know if they're like ready to settle down. They don't have, they, they're like maybe in that midlife crisis type of energy where they, they feel like they're 20 years old. This could be a past love. Okay. Um, maybe you broke up before or this is a relationship that's kind of like off and on. Um, something about the past here, though. This person could be not over their past or they've shown you who they are in the past. You just failed to believe it. I knew it. This is so this is an archetype. Now, they could be younger than you, but this is more so how somebody's energy is. This is somebody who maybe drives a fast car, maybe a sports car. This is an uh, athlete, whether it's professional or not. This is somebody who gets a lot of attention because of the things that they have or the way they dress or they're tall or they're athletic or they have a nice build. They run around town acting like the playboy. And it, they could be older because we saw that with the mature man, but they have this energy of feeling like they, they're young, you know, and just you know like he is hanging out the side of the car you know so let's see what else do we have for aquarius what is willing to tell aquarius this person could be trying to travel to you this person could travel for work or they move around a lot um they also could get around you know they have a lot of different people maybe they have a rotation of women here or men um there could be distance between the two of you you both could live far from one another also let's see yeah, this is a man who's about business. He's in and around the town. He could dress up in suits. It doesn't have to be, but a lot of people know him or, yeah, a lot of people know him. Um, this person wants to court you. I don't know if it's exclusively, though. It's like this person may want you on the team. What can we tell Aquarius about this person's last card? I knew it. Can't make this shit up. So this person wants an open relationship with you. It's like, I feel like they want you to be number one. Yep, want you to be number one. Cause you're a true gem. And, you know, they see, um, you know, see, they see your value. They could even want to propose to you, but this would be like a long ass engagement. Like this person is like, it would be failure to set a date. Or some of you are in a relationship like that where you, you've already popped the question, but no date is set. It's like this person wants an open relationship. They just want to be able to do whatever it is they want to do. 
it looks like destiny is going to bring this person back to you though for whatever reason again something about gifts this person can come back to you with a gift yeah Aquarius, this is what I have for you. You're going to be amazed. Maybe this person is. Why is Aquarius going to be amazed in terms of. Now, we know why Aquarius is going to be amazed in terms of um, career and business because it looks like Aquarius is getting what Aquarius wants in starting business or starting um, a new job or something of that nature. But why is Aquarius going to be amazed in love? Because it looks like. The player wants to return and um, I don't know let's see why should the Aquarius be amazed in love complacent somebody's comfortable with you they're stuck on you also it's like they can't move away from you this could be this this playboy play um, this person was or is hiding several different affairs from you. We saw that this person gets around. They're bothered by maybe you cutting them off, not talking to them. This person is coming out of maybe not being sober or not making sober thoughts or drinking too much. They love your smile. They do have liar in reverse. Maybe they want to be honest about something. They want to be honest about how they feel about you. Why is Aquarius going to be amazed in love? This person lusts for you or they have a lot of lust. They want you to understand that maybe you're their divine feminine. They want you to be like number one. I just keep getting that. Um, why is Aquarius going to be amazed when it comes to love? Um, because you're going to be happy or this person makes you happy. Um... This person was like a liar, a con man, a fraud. Everything they said was just all cap. But it's something about they them being finished with that. Gray hair coming out again. Like maybe you had dealt with this type of energy for a very long time. Like they had you in this situation for a long time. They had you kind of like rubbing your head. Like they were giving you gray hair. They were stressing you out. And as soon as you made them a friend or put them in the friend zone, they started to be stuck on you and study you, you know? Um, why is Aquarius going to be amazed? Is Has this person changed? Has this person changed or anything changed about them? Um, maybe this person is growing up and they're not just saying anything now. They're learning how to say how they really feel and come out of all of that irrational energy, that irrational thinking. It's like they're seeing straight now. Things were fuzzy for them. Things were unclear. They were unsure. Um, but now they see something clear now that you are the one for them. It's like they want you and they want someone else or they did yeah, it's like somebody is looking at the time that you two, um, the time that you two spent with one another and looking over this and saying that they don't want to let it go. Why is Aquarius going to be amazed though? Maybe because in this, you know, suspension, while things were suspended, this person realized that they love you. Yeah, and now they, okay, now they're straight up stalking you. And they're going to be quick to come back to you because they feel safe with you. But has this person changed, though? No, we need to know about change, right? Because they can stay where they at with all of this. Has this person changed? Has this person changed? All right, they want to take you out of that side check role. It came in reverse, but I don't know if you you don't feel like you can take them serious. They want to come back and maybe seduce you. They just hate the separation. They want the relationship back. 
one last okay i'm gonna ask the cards has this person okay should aquarius trust this energy should aquarius trust this energy um ten of pentacles and the hermit this person has had a change of personality like they maybe they realize that they want a family with you they want stability longevity whoa they like miss you miss you they are realizing that maybe you're the one and they're trying hard to get your attention um and come back towards you they want to come back in fast, like a destructive type of you mind, you know, like this won't take you. Maybe this person might cry real tears over you, or they're really heartbroken. Like they don't like the isolation. And all they can think about is good times with you, how good natured you are, how it's healthy to be with you, how they can, they feel like they can be themselves. They feel safe with you. And all they can do right now is think of you. And maybe spy on you, seven of swords, and just wait for your communication. Pray that the universe steps in and gives them an opportunity to salvage the connection. Yep, waiting for reconciliation, waiting for the opportunity to step in. So it's like, yeah, you can trust that they have changed. They've gone through some shedding of old, you know, bad habits. And maybe they want to start something new, foundational. It's like, this person might want to propose to you. Yeah. You get the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the King of Air. So this person is serious. The King of Swords don't, this person doesn't do anything they don't want to do. Like, there's no moving that type of energy. This could be Capricorn. This could be Scorpio. It could be, of course, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This person is serious though it's like they they can't get over you because now look when people deny the lover's relationship or the lover's uh soulmate connection it has long lasting ramifications like you never forget that person they always show up in your psyche and your energy and it's just like you know it's not an easy thing to turn down that soulmate connection and then you just move on with your life and you live you know um not to say that you won't be happily ever after but that person that you turn down that soulmate you turn down they kind of live rent free in your in your head in your heart forever you know it's it's not an energy where you just forget about this person yep wow yeah, they can't forget about you. The high priestess could be a cancer. This person's stuck on you. They had a change of heart. It's like they really want to make something right with you or do the right thing. So trust them. Don't trust them. Only time will tell if you do decide to trust this person. It could be anybody they don't, they don't like being apart from you. It just makes you even more irresistible, desirable. Maybe even a level of unattainability is coming up for them. Like they just can't fathom being without you. They almost like can't function. I want to say, I'm going to say can't function. It's like this person just really wants to talk to you. They want to take control of the narrative now. They want to take control of the relationship. So, I don't know. I feel like this relationship is going to be hard work. Yeah. Could have met at work. This this person, even if you don't want to be with them, they just want your friendship. They want your friendship. This person's not getting out of the bed. They're not doing anything. They're not engaging in all the stuff that they used to engage in. All they can think about is you being a gift to somebody else also you gifting all your love to somebody else it's like this person has gotten in control or maybe their darker side their lesser nature they could have had a sex addiction or some addictions that were taboo or um they didn't really want you to know about 
This could be somebody who needed to control their sexual urges. They could have paid for sex. They could get paid for sex. This is somebody who gets upset. They don't get what they want or they need attention and they find attention by way of having sex with somebody. You know, I don't know. This is somebody who, yeah, real carefree, real, they needed to learn spiritual, spiritual growth. They needed to learn that with you. Um, that they, they need to learn how to govern themselves accordingly with people, with, how can I say this? So it's like, they needed to learn that they can treat everybody the same way. Every woman the same way or every man the same way. Everybody's different. Everyone is unique. And when you find that person who really speaks to your soul, you don't treat them like the person that you just had sex with in the bathroom stall. You don't. You treat them different. This person had to learn that. This is it's been tough for them. Um Yeah, it's been tough for them. People see them growing up too. They're around a real big group of childish ass individuals and it could be at work or it's their friend group yep and there's and these people see them kind of acting differently or growing up or not acting as stupid as they used to act with them it's like this person just waiting for your communication they just know you're going to reach out they just know it it's like they realize now that you are you are the one and they need to treat you accordingly. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book a reading there. Go to the community tab first, get a discount code, and then head over to the website and book your reading. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. 9 30 p.m eastern standard time where i do a collective reading and i answer your questions uh the full moon is tomorrow and what you can do is um on the full moon i'm going to do a, a, a release prayer for each person who just sows a, a good faith um see you know via cash app or paypal cash app is below in the description box so is paypal whatever amount you want to sell but if there's something you need to release you need to relinquish or there's something that you want to have protected you know make make your request known um make your payment via cash app or paypal um you know okay so one full moon i i did um, a protection prayer for something that i was involved in that I wanted to go it was a it's a big deal and I wanted it to go well and I wanted it to protect this this uh, uh, project that I was involved in and it's finally come to fruition and um, so I don't know I wanted to share that with anybody out there who has something that they're they're working on actively and they just want to make sure that it goes through and that it it, it goes to manifestation that they actually see it come to life so if you have something like that that you're working on you can always make your contribution to the full moon energy i'm going to do a prayer for those of you who are trying to get things passed um you're trying to see things come to fruition be actively working on your your dreams and your goals so those who are just sitting in the house and just you know hoping and wishing keep your money keep don't don't Get, don't make a contribution start working on something and then make your contribution the next time around the full moon comes every month so um let let it be for those of you who are like you have something in the works you know um because it is for us to do the possible and it's for god spirit whatever you believe in to do the impossible so we have a saying here at the channel work gets rewarded so if you're not doing no work i don't know where the reward is coming from but good luck with that um anyhow i will talk to you guys again tomorrow take care bye